Hey what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 video tutorial. Today we are going to be covering Bungie Cord. What is Bungie Cord? Well, it allows you to set up a network much like Mindplex, Hypixel, and many other large networks out there. Now keep in mind that those are large networks, likely combining mm, probably a couple hundred servers together. Uh, in this test we will be only combining three, a small network. Uh, this is for many server owners who have one server that has a large crowd or audience on it that play constantly and they want to expand to multiple servers to allow for multiple game types such as mini games, factions, kid PvP, and etc. So today we're going to be showing you how to set up a bungee cord network on a hosted website. In this case we're using MC Pro Hosting. This will work with many other hosters, Beastnode, GG servers, etc. However, I prefer MC Pro Hosting, so that's what I will be using. So, we already have three servers that are currently set up with the proper server types. You're going to need one Bungie Cord server. You're going to need two Spagat server type servers. In this case, I'm using Spagat 1.8.8 and Spagat 1.9. Now, Bungie Cord 1.9, which was just released with 1.9, allows for 1.8 and 1.9 Spagat servers to be set up to it. So, without further ado, let's get started. After you've set up the server with Bungie Cord, you're going to want to go into the FTP, you're going to allow it to load, and you're going to locate the file config.yml and you will want to edit it. This right here is a default config.yml. Nothing has been edited yet, uh, however we will show you how to set that up. So as you can see here are the two Spagat servers. Uh, we're going to want to copy the IP of the first server we want to set up. And as you can see, there's a list of servers here. We're going to call that server 1.8 server, as that is the 1.8 server. However, you can name it to whatever you'd like. For example, lobby, hub, etc., depending on what the server is. What does this display name mean? Well, if you were to type slash server in game, a list of servers would come up, the list that's here. Uh, so essentially, whatever you put here is what's going to appear in game. This can also be used in priorities, which I will explain after I put both servers in here. We're going to name this 1.9 server, and we're going to copy and paste the IP right here. This is the MOTD. This is what will be displayed whenever you are on, whenever you use the Bungie Cord server's IP. And this right here is the Bungie Cord server's IP. I'm going to have to grab that really quickly. So allow me to do that. Copy. And for convenience, we're just going to go ahead and open the FTP in a separate tab. We're going to go back into the config.wowmail and we're going to paste the Bungie Cord IP here. Uh, max players, you are going to change to whatever you'd like. This is the number that displays right here. Uh, for example, this server says 50, this one says 75. Whatever you put here is what that number right here is going to be. So in this case, let's change it to 127. All right, so now we're going to set up priorities. Priorities is whenever you use the Bungie Cord server IP, this is what server it will try to send you to first. With Bungie Cord 1.9, they changed the server settings, which used to be a default and fallback server, to priorities. So priorities will try to connect you to the first server, second server, third server. If you fail connecting to the first server, it will then try to connect you to the second server, third server, and so on. So we're going to put 1.8 server, and we're going to put 1.9 server. Those are the two servers we are going to be adding today. Uh, this is tab size, you can ignore this. If you want it to force to the default server, which would be the first server on the priority list. In this case, I'm going to put true. And I am going to also change, you need to change IP forward to true. And you need to, finally, uh, you can change this. This is, do you want the tab list to be global or specific to a server? Uh, keep in mind that global does not work. You do need a special bungee cord plugin for that. So in this case, we're just going to put server. And again, this is another MOTD setting. So let's do one called uh, seven bungee cord test. And we'll quickly copy and paste that and put that in all MOTD spots. 
Uh, you are not required to use this MOTD setting. I actually highly recommend the plugin Serverless Plus, which I do have a tutorial on. I, I made it just about a week ago, uh, so you can probably easily find it, but I will post it in the description below, just for the convenience. Forced host is if you have a domain, uh, you can set up subdomains to your servers and then set up the forced host setting to allow to individually connect to the different servers using a separate subdomain IP. Granted that you will have your own domain and set up the subdomains for those servers. If you're using a host that has a subdomain, that will not work. So just keep that in mind. So we're pretty much done here. This is entirely set up. Uh, now let's basically just, you know, go to the control panel, click out of this. You're going to want to restart the server. And now we have to make a few changes to the two Spagat servers. You're going to want to go into the FTP file access of both servers. Once that is loaded, you will want to go into the bucket.yml first. It doesn't really matter what order you go in, but I just, it's how I work. Uh, by default, this is going to say 4000. You want to change it to negative 1. That's the connection throttle setting. Next, you're going to want to go into the spagat.yml and you're going to want to locate the bungee cord setting and set that to true. By default, it will be false. Finally, you're going to want to go into the server properties and you're going to locate the online mode setting. Change that to false. The on Now, you may be thinking, setting the server to offline mode, wouldn't that make it dangerous? Wouldn't it make it cracked and allow, you know, anyone to join your server? No. There is a setting in the bungee cord config.yml, which I didn't show. However, you can change the online mode from that setting. That setting will affect your entire network. So if you set it to online mode true, only players with online mode will be able to connect to your bungee cord server. If you set it to offline mode, you will need to keep in mind that skins and other such things, such as uh, proper user, da user data saving, it may be a little buggy, may not work properly. Uh, there, is a, there is a plugin called Skin Restorer, which you can use in that case. So everything's already pretty much set up. I don't need to change anything else. Um, keep in mind, you do have to restart the Spagat servers, but since I already set them up pre-recording, they're already joinable. I don't need to restart them. But in your case, you will have to. Now, you may see this. Uh, 1.8 server, 1.9, which one will I connect to upon join? Well, the Spagat 1.8.8 server is the first priority I set up. Currently I am running Minecraft 1.9. I do have Viva version installed, which means that I can connect to this 1.8 server on 1.9. So it will put me on this server first. To prove that, I will, uh, I will simply join the server. I just added it twice. And it will put me on the 1.8 server. To prove that, when I'm in game, if I am able to slash version, it'll say running 1.8.8. If I type slash server, I can change servers and I can go to the 1.9 server simply by clicking on it. It will load it and now I'm on the 1.9 server. Uh, 1.9 bungee cord, extremely awesome because it now allows for 1.8 and 1.9 servers to be connected to it. This adds a realm of all sorts of new possibilities for large networks and small networks alike. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to multiple things such as the bungee cord wiki, uh, via version, and more. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions further about bungee cord, leave it in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys.